Welcome to the module on graphing points using the coordinate plane to solve real world and mathematical problems. In this module, we will focus on building appropriate mathematical language while learning to identify and plot ordered pairs on a coordinate grid. When looking at the major work of fifth grade, we can see that geometry is a supporting standard. The geometry domain accounts for 2 to 7% of the EOG. On DPI's released EOG, there were only two items dedicated to geometry one item on the coordinate plane and the other on classifying shapes. We know that geometry needs to be taught because it is in the standard course of study. However, because geometry accounts for only 2 to 7 percent of the EOG and it is not a major work of the grade, it probably does not require the time that is allocated to it in the Cumberland County Pacing Guide. In fact, the county purposely put geometry at the end of the pacing guide and padded the time allocated to these standards in order to allow time for reteaching of other standards and for preparation for the end of grade test. These standards deal only with the first quadrant. In the coordinate plane, although students can often locate a point, these understandings go beyond simple skills and expect students to engage in discussion about their reasonings. Standard G1 appears to be very lengthy. However, this standard simply states that students should recognize that a coordinate grid is really just a set of number lines meeting at the zero point, and students should understand what the first and second number of an ordered pair represent. Standard G2 asks students to apply the information from G1 to solve problems on the coordinate grid. In this section of the unit, there is one other standard 50A3. This standard asks the student to graph points to represent different rules and make a comparison between these rules. The release EOG shows one item allocated to this standard, which is shown here. In this module, we will only focus on the geometry standards. Students should learn to use the following terms with increasing precision throughout the teaching of these standards and be able to engage in discussions about points in the coordinate grid while using the terms above. Knowledge of vocabulary is the biggest indicator of success on tests and assessments. To ensure that students are able to show all that they know, frequently model correct use of these terms and provide opportunities for students to practice using this vocabulary. The concept of using horizontal and vertical number lines to create a coordinate grid system that helps us locate points on a plane is a new concept to students in the fifth grade. Students often confuse the x-axis and the y-axis, so it is important to ensure that the coordinate grid is properly labeled with the x-axis always being on the horizontal plane and the y-axis always on the vertical plane. It is important for students to understand that ordered pairs must always appear within parentheses and that when ordering pairs, the x-coordinate always appears first and the y-coordinate second. A common mistake that students often make is that they think it does not matter which direction they move in first to describe the direction of the location points on the grid. Students sometimes move up the y-axis first instead of over on the x-axis first. It is important for students to understand the first number indicates how far to travel from the origin in the direction of the x-axis, and the second number indicates how far to travel in the direction of the y-axis. Students are expected to plot points on the coordinate grid and to connect the points in order. In the above example, it is important to note that point D must connect back to point A in order to form a closed geometric figure that students can identify. Once students have plotted and connected the coordinates, ask questions such as, Geometric figure is formed. What attributes did you use to identify it? What line segments are parallel? What line segments are perpendicular? It is important to reference real world and mathematical problems, including traveling from one point to another. In the above example, students are expected to locate the ordered pair that represents the school and to determine a path from the school to the library using coordinates. Students should be encouraged to explain why they chose the path they did using the vocabulary previously taught. Other examples should allow students to make a correlation between the coordinate values of points and students should be able to analyze information displayed on a graph to further demonstrate a relationship between x and y coordinates. Thank you for participating in the module on examining the relationships between coordinate pairs on a coordinate grid.